I know this is real sudden, but there's something I want to ask y'all so I can fit in a little better. Tell me your weaknesses. Why would we tell you something like that? Hey now, that's cold, Mick boy. I'll tell you mine to make it fair. On days when the temperature is low, I get cold. Yeah, because you don't wear any clothes. Oh, I see how it is. You want something juicier? Let me tell you something. If a girl starts crying, there's nothing I won't do for her. Didn't need to know that, thanks. You guys are tough customers. All right, try this one on for size. I'm strong against Earth, but weak against fire. We knew that. That's no good either. Well, then here's a juicy tidbit that'll rock your world. As far as I can tell, from the waist up, Lila is... This isn't even about weaknesses anymore. Looks like you're fitting in just fine, I'd say. Hey, Zavid, I want to ask you about something you mentioned. Oh, hmm. Is this your response to my love confession? Don't try and weasel your way out of this. You said there was something you had to settle with my brother. That's all there is to it, really. There's just something between us we need to settle. And that something is? I told him, Please, let me marry your little sister, and he punched me. Don't lie. Oh, come on, he'd totally do something like that. Fine, don't tell me then. <laughs> no wonder he's worried about her all the time. So what's this really about? Did Edna's brother ask a favor from you or something like that? Hmm? Who wants to know? Does it have something to do with the oath? Nah, it's not that big of a deal. But even so, a promise between men is just as sacred. <sighs> it all might be too much for mere humans to bear. I shouldn't have taken them along. Oh, it's so useless to say that now. They could have stayed home in their rooms if they didn't want to deal with it. They went out of their own accord. Yeah, and I don't think either of them expect or want anyone to take responsibility for their being dragged into this. Both of them seem so used to living with the Seraphim. Wonder if they were always like this. Saray and I were raised together ever since we were just babies. There was a time when you were a baby? That's rude. My bad, my bad. I'm sure you were a sweet, well-behaved little guy back in your day. Too bad I'm not like that anymore, huh? You know, there's something I've been wondering. Yeah, what? You're an Earth Seraph, right? So why do you use an umbrella for a weapon? Isn't that more like a water element? I guess I can tell you. Ready to have your mind blown? I'm using it precisely because I'm an Earth Seraph. Huh? You know about the dominant relationships among the elements. Earth, water, fire, and wind, right? Earth is stronger than water. Meaning that especially when using seraphic arts, you can increase your mana output by using the subordinate element as a catalyst. What? Just to let you know, Lila has been using wind-imbued paper, and Dezel's pendulum has been using earthen minerals as their catalysts. The staff that you've been using is fundamentally an earth element. You'd have to be a complete idiot for using something like that as a water serif. Is what I'd like to say, but I'll hold back. But you did just say it! Well, if you've been using it as a way to train yourself, or a way to incorporate physical attacks on top of seraphic arts, then you're not doing it completely wrong, at least. The longer you live, the easier it is for you to choose to do what takes the least amount of effort. But if you really aren't satisfied and want to grow stronger, then you're just going to have to do things the hard way, if you want to go beyond whatever ability you were born with. Huh. Anyways, you've been using your staff without- <sighs> I've prepared the bottles.
gotcha, Gold. So then, now what do we do? It looks like Heldolf wasn't in Glavend. Indeed. Were he near us, we'd surely have felt the strength of his domain. I guess we'll have to search somewhere else. But we'll need at least some clue as to where he is. Agreed. I hate wasting my time. Hiding such a large amount of malevolence shouldn't exactly be an easy task. Hmm. Malevolence, huh? I remember feeling an unusually strong level of malevolence before. When was that? Right after we fought earlier. It was when we were heading back to Pendrago from the Guinevere Shrine. So, maybe southwest of Pendrago? Alright, let's check it out. You guys really gonna go on such a shot in the dark? Sounds like it's worth a look. We've got nothing to lose. If this ends up being a waste of time, I swear I'll stab you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Domain! It's so strong! Heldolf is here. There's no mistaking it. The final showdown. Huh? Let's 
Mari kita udah tahu guys di mana si Helda. Jadi kita akan pergi ke sini. Killing gua sih dia ada di dungeon yang gua cek kemarin, yang nggak ada, yang gua nggak ketemu apa apa. Ya, that's only a feeling. But at least let me check, okay? Sometimes it's fun to go wing around and around. Round and round, Guru Gumawaru. But it's also annoying to know we are going to go there again. Torn spear! Fire protect Torn spear! Torn spear! Torn spear! 
Susah men <laughs> Apa gua terlalu remah ya That was a difficult battle Let's restore our vitality Apa gua terlalu lemah Oke gua dapat Poin yang fitur Ini akan menjadi mitik pertama kita sama dia tuh. Kita akan tahu dia dulu. won't go like last time i certainly hope that it won't what do you mean do you think it's coincidence that you've encountered hellion's domains at every turn 
So what? This was all your doing? Is that what you want to say? Is this your idea of being merciful? You know, he used to be a general. There's no telling what he's really plotting. Is he trying to negotiate? <laughs> be on your guard, Saray. Yeah, he's capable of anything. So, how are we supposed to find out if this guy really did bind with Mautelis? We'll just have to fight him head on. <laughs> you got a death wish? If not that, then what? <laughs> Tell me something, Hell Dog. Are you? <laughs> What's so damn funny? You talk far too much. <sighs> I am the Lord of Calamity, and thou art the Shepherd. The meeting of the two is, by definition, conflict. Do you not agree? Ah! Saray! Here he comes, everyone! Yeah. May your not Let go on! Show me what a vessel you are! I won't be pushed over that easily! Not what you truly wish inside. What? What are you saying? You yearn for it. You crave it. <laughs> Would you drown in this fountain of ecstasy you have created? Lila, it's time to settle this. What's wrong, Saray? If you finish this here, can you be absolutely sure you will not regret it later? That's right. Did we really come all this way just to smack old Kitty Beard around? Or was there something else? As you know, to quell the Lord of Calamity is the duty of the Shepherd. That is not incorrect. Is he challenging us? Do it if we can? No. The bastard's up to something. Simone! Yes? Dispose of them. An illusory 
art. Look out, everyone! You're too late. Finally putting some effort into it. How long do you think your malevolence can isolate him? For one of his strength, probably only about ten minutes. I apologize. Hmm, it will do. What have you done, Heldolf? Get okay. ready! Let's fight for a minute. Okay, guys, let's fight for a don't tell me the tables have turned. I can't end. That victory was close, yet now only anxiety and impending doom. <laughs> Saray! Don't let your emotions waver! He's... Lila! Still you interfere! Oi! Just for 10 minutes, okay? You can do it, come on! It's only for 10 minutes. Move forward! Get at her! Too close! Get out of my place! Get lost! Get out of my place! Yeah, I... Miss Mioma! <sighs> Lila, Heldolf is trying to manipulate me while I'm still missing the full picture. Is that what you're trying to say? At this rate, he's just going to keep needling me. I'm a plaything to him! Saray, I understand! You've got to help every- I'm not getting away! Hi, again. We just have to find a weak point. Let's go, baby. Yeah. Tiger blade. Let's keep it up. Freeze the fracture. Burn. Dragon fang. I need a hand. Let's knock him back with a hidden art. Do not resist. No! I will never give up! Do you not realize how warped it is to struggle so? What? Simone, release the squire. At once. Prepare to see just what your resistance has earned, you shepherd. No! Come on, come on. <laughs> and that was his fatal mistake, wasn't it, Lila? Plan to slay her. A self. Killing is my business. Or did you forget? Simone. Very well, as you wish. What? I'm gonna Rose! Toying with you has lost its charm. Shepard Saray, work under me. 
Should we not bring this world back to the way it was, together? What? Walking a path alongside the Lord of Calamity can only lead to malevolence. Surely you- And what is so strange about that? Malevolence will always be with us. It can only be dispelled by the scant few who hold the power of purification. Are you saying that's the way things should be? Hellions only bring pain! To humans and Seraphim alike! And so it is therefore natural to resist malevolence? Absurd. <laughs> Shepherd Surrey, I repeat once more, join me. For too long have the Seraphim been forced to fight the malevolence. Too long have they been chained, toiling away at their blessings. Let us restore them to their rightful form as Hellions! I refuse. Then let us finish our battle once and for all! I refuse that as well. This is not the time. What? So you say. But one day, you will discover it for yourself. The true nature of humans and Seraphim in this world. <laughs> okay. Ternyata kita udah ketemu. No mistake. That bearded menace is connected to Maltellus. When we were trapped by his malevolence, I felt a presence. But there wasn't even a trace of Maltellus back then. Think about it. What if you were convinced you couldn't see something, but it was right under your nose? It's something we see all the time and yet never notice. This? The ground? You mean the Hellion could be using the continent of Glenwood itself as a vessel? Right. There's only one guy out there who'd be capable of pulling it off. But if that's the case... Even if all this is true, is it possible to purify the land itself? If Heldalf were the vessel, it would make a lot more sense. But if the Earth is the vessel, why would Maltellus also be connected to Heldalf? Let's find Maltellus. If it's true that Heldalf is connected to Maltellus, who's become a Hellion using the Earth as a vessel, then so long as we don't purify Maltellus, we'll never be able to quell Heldalf. But even with all the legends of Maltellus we've collected, there hasn't been a single clue as to his whereabouts. We should search for Maven. Old man Maven? That's right. He was journeying to study the legends surrounding Maltellus as well. We don't have a clue, but he just might. <laughs> yeah, but how are we supposed to find him? I have an inkling. Let's go meet with the ones who protect the ruin of Logren and see what they think. Logren? That's the ruin in Zephgot Moor, right? Yes. Then it's been decided. Let's get packing, Mebo. Alright, alright. Just stop that. Hey, are you okay with this? I trust him, though it is a gamble. <sighs> Yay! Ternyata guys, kita sudah kalah yang dia. Eh, gue kita masih tetap lari. Ready, Nicolia? I need a hand.
Radiant, Edna. Okay, guys. Di mana itu ya? Oke okay guys, so kita udah tahu nih kita mau kemana, Great Camelot Bridge. Kalau lu tahu video gue yang sebelumnya, sebelum waktu gue cari ini, Wind Trial. Jadi gue ada masuk ke Great Camelot Bridge. Cuman kan karena di sana malvolensinya gede banget, jadi kita nggak bisa lewat. Cuman mungkin habis dari sini kita udah bisa lewat. Jadi so, nah, ini akhir dari video kali ini. Jangan lupa like, komen, dan subscribe. Jadi kalian bisa tahu kapan next video gua akan keluar. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.